Let's balance the equation for the complete combustion of octane, that's C8H18 plus O2. This is combustion because we have a hydrocarbon, so it's organic combustion. We're adding oxygen gas, and that reacts to form carbon dioxide and water. That makes this a combustion reaction. Let's balance the equation. So I've counted the atoms up on both sides. Do note that in the products we have the two oxygens here and we have one with the water. So 2 plus 1, that gives us 3. We'll leave the O2, the oxygen gas here, till last because when we change the coefficient in front of the O2, it won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So in combustion reactions, leave the O2 until last. Let's put an 8 in front of the carbon dioxide. 1 times 8, that gives us 8. This Eight, it goes to everything, so we've got to update the oxygens. So 8 times 2 is 16, plus we have that one oxygen there with the water, 17 oxygen atoms. Let's do the hydrogens. We could put a 9 here, 2 times 9. That would give us 18. That would balance the hydrogens. Let's update the oxygens. So 8 times 2, that's 16, plus 9 times 1. That gives us 25 oxygen atoms. That's a bit of a problem. But here's how to think about it. 2 times some number will give us 25. 2 times 25 over 2, that would give us 25. The 2's would cancel out. And we can just put a 25 over 2 here in front of the oxygen. This equation, it's balanced. When we're balancing equations, like combustion reactions here, what we're really interested in is the coefficients. Those are the ratios of each substance. So some teachers like to have this as a whole number. That's pretty easy to fix. We just multiply everything by 2. So these coefficients, they're correct as well. Again, it's the ratio that we're really interested in. If we wanted to write the states for the combustion of octane, that would look like this. Octane would be a liquid. We have oxygen gas, carbon dioxide gas, and then water, because this is exothermic. Combustion reactions are exothermic. It'd get hot, and water, that would be a gas, at least initially. This is Dr. B with the equation for the combustion of octane. Thanks for watching.